most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy. Weather rate certified 10 years in a row. A sloppy Wednesday out there. We've got valley rain and mountain snow. This is a live look at Evanston, Wyoming. I-80 looking at some sloppy conditions as snow continues to impact visibility and road conditions. Ugh, road slush, road snow. It's something we have to be aware of as we get through the next couple of hours because we're not done yet with moisture. We still have that valley rain and mountain snow holding on with our winter alerts holding steady a winter storm warning for the mountains sticking around as we head into tomorrow afternoon. The warming trend will continue, which is one of the reasons we're seeing the precipitation type in the valleys staying straight rain right now, which is very sloppy. Live look from the ABC4 studios where you can see we had some rain on the camera earlier, soggy parking lot and the rain continues to come down in the Salt Lake and Tooele valleys at this hour. We're going to take a look at exactly where that moisture is, but it's all attributed to this low pressure system clipping the state, moving through the area and bringing this activity to the northern half of the Beehive State. We knew it was coming. It's really unsettled, but it's been an active pattern and we definitely need the moisture. We look at the satellite radar and you can see that northern half of the state as the front kind of trails through, but we still have very mild conditions in the central and southern half of the state. We're dry with quieter conditions. A little bit of sunshine down there and dry conditions holding steady. Okay, storm tracker radar zooms in, gives you an idea of exactly where we're seeing that valley rain. You're going to notice it now in Cache Valley. It's been a mix of rain and snow throughout the day. Brigham City all the way through I-15 towards Ogden, Layton, into West Bountiful, Salt Lake, Draper, down towards Provo and Payson, Tooele getting that mixed precipitation, but lower valleys dealing with straight rain due to the fact that temperatures are above freezing and mountain snow holds on and will continue to hold on as we make it through the next several hours. Yeah, we get another band coming through. A winter storm warning for our mountains holds until 5 p.m. tomorrow, the winter weather advisory until 5 a.m. So that will give you an idea that temperatures will be dropping in our mountain valleys yet again. Summit County up towards Logan, and we could see that switch back over snow and create some dicey conditions. Also, central Utah looking at some accumulating snow in the central mountains and those higher elevations of I-15. As we add this snow and heavy snow at that to our high country, we know that avalanche danger rises. We're seeing high dangerous conditions along the Wasatch Front today, and that includes in the Logan area, Ogden, even over into the western Uintas. Not a surprise as the storm continues to impact us. But even where we're not seeing snow in Skyline, Moab, and towards the Abajos, it's considerable danger because we have added snow and it can slide very easily. Have to be extremely careful if you're heading on those mountain routes. We're going to be spending any time in the high country tonight. That wet weather holds steady with more accumulating mountain snow. We do have the chance of wet weather for our Thursday, but then that's going to start to dwindle. High pressure takes control as we head into Friday. We'll be dry for most of the day, and then later on on Friday, we see a storm system that wants to sneak in, impact us late Friday into Saturday. Dry conditions will follow. Here's a look at what to expect temperature wise. We've got those 40s, so straight rain. If we see that wet weather in the valleys tomorrow, 30s in Price, 48 in Cedar City. 56 in St. George, where the warming trend continues down there in Washington County. Here's a look at the next seven down there in St. George, making a run for the upper 50s. Oh, we see you, St. George. We see you flaunting it. 52 is the average high for temperatures in St. George this time of year. Here's the Wasatch Front. It's an active pattern. For tomorrow, the chance of wet weather does stick around, and then again, late Friday into Saturday. Then dry conditions with high pressure taking control, but of course that means air quality could be impacted. We will stay on top of that, those temperatures in the 30s as we head into next week. Remember, to stay on top of the forecast, all you have to do, download that ABC4 weather app. It's simple to do. Snap a picture of this QR code, takes you right to the app store where you can download for free so we can be there for you.